America. Tom Hand here from Americana Corner. Today we are talking about the First Continental Congress. This convention in 1774 brought together many influential leaders from colonial America. They hoped to formulate a response to Parliament's recently enacted Coercive Acts, which closed the Port of Boston and revoked the Colonial Charter of Massachusetts. 56 men, including George Washington and John Adams, met in Carpenter's Hall in Philadelphia from September 5th to October 26th, 1774. The meeting consisted of two basic factions. The Conservatives, led by John Dickinson and Joseph Galloway, who wanted to reconcile with England, and the Radicals, led by John and Sam Adams and Patrick Henry, who wanted to assert our rights. After much debate, they agreed to submit a petition to the King which listed colonial grievances and asked King George to intervene. Unfortunately, this request was ignored. They also drafted the Articles of Association, which called for a boycott of all British goods. The effect was dramatic, as imports from Great Britain fell by 97%. Most importantly, the Second Continental Congress was organized for the following year. Little did they know, this next gathering would take place in the shadows of a country already at war. So why should the First Continental Congress matter to us today? This historic gathering of our forefathers was the first National Assembly where the complete separation from England was openly discussed. Although an aggressive stance was not adopted by the delegates, the seeds of independence was planted in the minds of those present. These courageous men, who had so much to lose by standing up to England, are deserving of our respect. Until next time, may your love of country lead you.